Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Hypercharge Network, David Bibby. How are you doing today, David? Hey, Rich. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Excited to learn more about your company. I'm a huge fan of electric vehicles and the electrification of vehicles. I know a lot of countries have mandates to have 50%, some countries as much as 100% electric vehicles on the road by 2030. So I love the fact you guys are in the charging solutions industry. So first and foremost, David, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Hypercharge Network. Yeah, great question. Well, so um, Hypercharge Networks, we've been uh, founded the company in June of 2021, and we're a fast growing Canadian company. We just IPO'd last week on the NEO under the symbol HC. Uh, we provide turnkey EV charging solutions to help our customers grow their business and accelerate the adoption of the electric vehicle and the shift towards a carbon neutral economy. Um, we, we too are very excited about this space because it's just starting to take off. And we don't say that lightly because by 2030 in Canada, over 60% of all new vehicles will be electric. And on average, we sell about 2 million vehicles per year and they all need somewhere to charge. And that's where we come in. Fantastic. Now the company is a brand new IPO, which you mentioned and one of the first charging station companies to go public in Canada. Can you tell us what are your top three goals for 2023? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we've spent the last year really setting the foundation for the company. So getting all of our products and platforms in place. We launched in April. Um, so we were, we were pre-selling before April. Once we launched, we're over 100 sites, over 80 customers already in seven provinces across Canada today. I uh, expect to finish this year calendar at uh, 2 million in revenue already. I uh, initially set a target of a million. Uh, we've more than doubled that or, or doubled it in calendar year. So we're going to continue to scale across Canada. That's the, the number one goal for 2023. We're also expanding into the US. We have our first sites going live right now in Texas, and we see the US as a huge opportunity for us. Uh, it's a hundred times bigger than Canada alone, and Canada's already growing at about 30% uh, compound annual growth in this space alone. So, you know, there's a lot of headwinds in many sectors right now. Uh, EV charging and electrification is one of the few bright spots. And the final thing we're going to focus on is uh, how we innovate our business model. So we're still a relatively young company, um, and we know there's lots of opportunity for us to innovate in our business model and to improve our unit economics. Uh, for sure, we always have um, a real eye on how we grow the company sustainably and scalably so that we can uh, you know, make sure we're making money as we grow. Um, but also looking for other opportunities to add more value to our customers. So business model innovation, as I call it, is a third pillar of our growth strategy. That's great. Really excited to see you guys grow and evolve. Now, can you tell us what is the market size of the charging industry and how much of it do you see hypercharge capturing within the first two years? Well, I mean, I, th I think we're really in the first inning still um of this of this industry uh, at a national level in canada today we sell roughly about eight percent of all new vehicles sold or battery electric by 2030 that will be um probably 60 percent of of the new vehicles sold as i said and then by 2035 it's a hundred percent and so when you think about that, there's, there's just massive opportunity. It's a, it's a hundred billion dollar industry over the next seven years. And so for hypercharge, um, you know, we, you know, as far as what percentage we'll own of the industry, 
Um, tough to say, but we're, we're continuing to win a lot of business across our three main segments, which are multi-unit residential. So these are, we work with developers on that. Um, public charging. So think uh, REITs and retail property owners there and fleet. Uh, fleet is the earliest stage of all three of these segments right now. And I really think that over time, most uh, fleet operators, all fleet all operators will be electrifying their fleets. And we have some uh, special innovation that we think will really uh, help us grow in that segment. Now, you mentioned the United States, and obviously that is an enormous market. So, David, what are your plans for expansion into the United States? And how long do you think the company will take to be able to do that? Expansion into the U.S. has already started. Uh, we've formed our U.S. entity uh, 90 days ago. Our first customers go live in Texas uh, later this year. And we're starting to look at recruiting our team down there. So it's I, I would say that in the next 24 months, the U.S. should be as big or bigger than Canada for hypercharge. Um, how we'll get there is through our, our partners. So we have... You know, when we think about how we go to market, uh, we work directly with customers. So we sell directly into accounts. And then we've also developed a partner channel, which will scale through that as well. So we have a number of certified hypercharge uh, preferred partners that will continue to work with and, and grow their business uh, as well as our business. That's great. Now, I believe you guys are on pace and you mentioned it to do about $2 million in revenue in 2022. Do you believe yeah. that the company can two times those revenues in 2023? I do. Absolutely do. Right. And, uh, you know, we're, we're building a pipeline right now. Um, my background, a lot of it is in helping uh, companies scale and grow quickly. Uh, we're already building a very large sales pipeline and adding to that every month. And it's really a flywheel. So once we start, um, getting in, involved with certain customers and they continue to electrify their sites, we continue to win more mandates that way. So I, I'm very confident we'll be able to uh, to more than 2X this business next year. More than 2X, that's music to my ears. Now, is there anything else you would want investors to know about Hypercharge Network today? Yeah, I, and there's a couple things, I suppose. One, um, when I think about Hypercharge in general, I like to say that we provide a win-win-win for our customers, for their customers, and for the environment. Um, there's a win for the driver because they get their vehicle charged in a convenient and intuitive manner. There's a win for the business because they have a new climate-friendly revenue stream. And there's a third win, and probably the most important is for the environment um, because we all help to reduce our emissions there. So I, I think that, you know, when you think of hypercharge, why I think investors should be interested in hypercharge is, you know, number one, we're a high growth company in a high growth industry. As I said, the market is growing, the EV charging market is growing at over 30% compound annual growth over the next seven years. Um, secondly, that this transition is unavoidable. Most Canadians may not drive EVs yet, but over the next 10 years, they will. And the number one barrier is a lack of EV charging infrastructure, barrier for adoption. And that's the problem that we solve. And so we have a very experienced team and a passion to build this company. And uh, you know we're really excited about the future. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Hypercharge Network? Yeah, you can uh, contact us directly through investors at hypercharge.com. We'd, we'd love to hear from you and uh, and have a conversation and, and give you more information about us. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. The CEO of Hypercharge Network, David Bibby. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, this is a brand new IPO in one of the hottest growing, fastest growing sectors in the world. I'm a huge fan of electrification of vehicles. I believe that this is a need, not a want. 
and you're going to need charging solutions for all of these vehicles on the road. And this is a company that is focusing on those solutions. So I believe it's a company that is completely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. So I want to take your attention to HC, the symbol on the new exchange in Canada. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. And David, we'd love to invite you back again in the future if you have any breaking news or anything you want to discuss. Thanks, Rich. We'll be happy to come back and uh, provide you guys an update as we go along. Thank you so much for your time today, David. Continue the great work. And thank you for watching, everyone. Remember, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with David Bibby, the CEO of Hypercharge Network, saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon. Thank you.